What it do? Well, you ain't gonna do the pick up, man. You can't pick up. What do it look like without light? Like? It look cool without light? Like? Hold it up. No, no, it's too dark. Hold it up so they can see you, though. Holding it so they can see the ceiling. Clear? You good, Kerr? Yeah, I'm cool. Got somebody on there. All right. Uh, you, so, you, wait, wait, hold on, man. Let me get to get us going. Yeah, me and my three boys just seen the uh, Kong Godzilla, the Kong vs. Godzilla, and we had a bet that I was gonna go to sleep, and I didn't. We knocked down some Tony Romans. We went to the movies, watched them squabble up, and. I predicted that King Kong and Godzilla was gonna do what they did. I don't, I don't know if we're doing spoilers, so I don't wanna spoil it. But yeah, I'm the king of the shuts. I'ma let my three C's do their little review on Spot of Look Most Itchy. You know how we do. It was first time back in the movie since the quarantine. So yeah, that's that. I guess we're gonna start it off with Kurt Mon, aka Monster, Monster Man. Alright, so just watched the movie. Uh it was all cool and stuff. But I I don't try to spoil nothing in case I ain't watched it yet. <laughs> but like the way they played it out, it's like very cliche, I guess. Yeah, pretty like, predictable. Huh? All the movies and stuff now is uh pretty predictable. But the way they played it out, pretty, like. Talk your talk. Yeah, it's just you predictable. That was, a, so, that was a good word when you said cliche. I wasn't yeah. expecting that one, bro. <laughs> so, like, the, the people and stuff, it kind of, like, kind of corny a little bit. Yeah, I guess. yeah, it was corny, yeah. but I already, like, accepted that it was going to be corny before I went in. So, I knew it was going to be corny. That didn't really bother me. So, knowing I'm going to a corny production, I was still pretty pleased. So. Yeah, it was still a good movie for like what it was though. So. There you go. I passed the phone to uh, Curvell. There you go. Um, let me see. Um, so when I watched it, as he said, it was pretty predictable. Um, also, like, for some reason I give it some sort of a, like a lower rating than a ten. It was like they had multiple stereotype characters. And um, I didn't like the whole. Stereotype character. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't like some of the uh, things they did with the monsters, and like the, how they made um, a new one. But yeah, but out of the movie, I'll give it like a seven or eight. Did you give it a number? Uh, I'm gonna start off with the rating. I'm gonna give it like a. I give it a cool seven. Wasn't nothing special, but it was enjoyable, I guess. I mean, um, the plot was kind of all over the place, and just follow a straight, for me, script or whatever. It was just here and there. They in one spot on the world, then on another, and then they handling business here and then another. I mean, but other than that, it was cool. I messed with the fight scenes. Yeah, yeah, it was cool though. Decent like movie, seven out of that. ten. I mess with it. It had quite a bit of action. It ain't like you have to watch a whole slow story yeah. for one last big fight. It was fighting pretty spread out throughout the whole thing. Um, I've been hearing a lot about Antarctica in general lately in my studies, so I found it kind of uh, ironic that some of the movie they went to uh, Antarctica and dealt with the Hollow Earth idea. But other than that, cool flick. This ain't finna be no long video. We just kind of made it a tradition after we come out the movies to get out. So I'm with the squad. Feel me? These my Bay Mac boys. The Williams crew. Yeah, my day who knows. Y'all seen Junior starting in that video, day who knows. But uh, I'm finna pass the phone around one more time. They want some last words, and we gonna be up out of here. Ain't much to talk about right now, my mama, mama. But they opening things up. The movies wasn't all packed because they only doing 25%. But uh, yeah, all y'all could go on and say y'all last words. All right. So I forgot to say the uh, rating that I give it. But like, throughout the movie, I, I'd probably give it an 8. 
But other than that, it was pretty just, like I said, it was just pretty predictable through the story. But all the fight scenes was cool and stuff. So, yeah. Something uh, from my last words, I'll just tell y'all. It's a movie y'all sh should go and see. It's not like it's not a waste of time to watch. It's a good movie. Uh, I ain't got much to say. Get about your money at all costs. Keep bay making. Stay bought it. Yeah, that's it. Give your rating. Oh, yeah, I didn't do my rating. Huh? I'm going to give it a, just because I enjoyed the overall experience, period. I'm going to give it a seven. It was cool. Not particularly my type of movie, like I said, but I had a good time with my boys. It held my attention. I did not fall asleep. I deserve props for that, even though they, ain't, they always call me old man sleepy. Yeah, what you got to say about old man sleepy tonight, though? Yeah, Bay Mac business. I'm going to highlight y'all. Be about your marathon at all costs. Be about your movies at all costs. Be about your M's.